Good morning. Welcome to Studio Church. My name is Brian Sanders, and this is Word of the Day. You know, I want to talk about impressions today, impressions that uh, we make on other people and the impressions we concoct of other people. So let's start with a, a verse in Second Chronicles 32, 31, where it says, But when envoys were sent by the rulers of Babylon to ask him about the miraculous signs that had occurred in the land, God left Hezekiah to test him and to know everything that was in his heart. Now, Hezekiah was reigning in the city of David at that particular point in time, and everything that he did, everything that he put his hand to for the Lord, succeeded. So, that's the beauty of having the Lord work in your life. But when the, uh, this test came, God stepped away to see what was in Hezekiah's heart. And that can happen to us because uh, these impressions that other people have of us and that we have of others, they're, they're based on on uh, opinions or uh, feelings or that sort of thing, and really no evidence. It's just the initial impression we get of people. So with with that, if if we can stand the test when, when God steps away from us, then that's allowing us to reveal what is actually within our heart. So if Hezekiah's heart was completely with the Lord, then when God stepped away from him, just everything regarding the Lord would come out of Hezekiah's heart. But if there was elements of his personal um, desires, wants, and greeds, and needs, and all of those things, those would seep out. And in 2 Corinthians 2.9, it says, another reason Paul wrote to the Corinthians, uh, the reason I wrote was to tell you uh, to see if you would stand the test and be obedient in everything. So if you have impressions of people and you don't know what to do with that, take it to the Bible and, and test it. Find out what these people are actually saying when they're not speaking about the Lord. When you're talking about the Lord, everything can come out as the Lord. But when you're not talking about the Lord, things in their life will come out through their speech, speech actions, their looks, and that sort of thing. So with those words, I hope you have a great day, and we'll talk to you again.